You're somewhat of an endangered species in that you're a Republican climate scientist. <laughs> Could you talk about how the role of politics and climate science and your views on that? Yeah, well, it's, a, it's frustrating, right? Because there shouldn't be a serious role for politics in climate science, in my opinion. The science is science. And it was. Right? The first time I ever testified to a subcommittee of the U.S. Senate was 12 years ago, and it was chaired by a Republican uh, who was about to introduce a bill that was going to put a price on changing the climate through carbon emissions. And I personally think that he was just a little bit unhappy with me because I was not scarier about the threats. I was being very careful and measured. And this is that long ago. And so, so the idea that somehow your, your politics, that you're on this side or that side, means that you do or don't believe that CO2 is a greenhouse gas, there is a little bit of that now, but it's a very, very recent thing. And it's a thing that I think that I hope can disappear again.